you sometimes have a little numbness on your arm or some tingling in your leg, maybe even like a burning sensation, your problem is likely not going to just go away. Dr. Armin Kachatorian is an orthopedic surgeon who knows exactly what is wrong. What's the problem here? Well, a lot of times people will have pinched nerves and they're not sure where the pain is coming from. They'll have a pain going down their arm and their, their, their leg. And really it's a nerve that's being pitched either in their neck or their low back. And uh, this is a fairly common problem. People will suffer with it. And the pain sometimes can be very, very excruciating. So people, do they just like take a bunch of ibuprofen or something like that? Or what do they do? Well, they start with ibuprofen. They'll put ice. They'll use some sort of herbal medication. But, uh, you know, most people end up coming back to see us because they're having, you know, bad pain going down their arm. Just imagine the worst kind of pain you can have, the toothache. Yeah. Multiply that a couple times and the type of pain that we're talking about going into the leg or the arm can be from this pinched nerve. Okay, walk me through what exactly is happening. This, this is a nerve that's going down your spine, is that what's happening? Can you explain what's happening? Yeah, so uh, if you look at your spinal column, there's the spinal cord, and from the cord there are nerves that are coming out. These nerves can be pinched as a result of a disc herniation like you can see in this animation. It can come as a result of a spur coming in from an arthritic joint or it can come just from aging. As the spine ages, it narrows. As the result is narrowing, the nerves can get pinched, and this can cause the pain shooting into the leg or the arm. Additionally, you can have numbness and weakness. That's the other reason people will come to us. They'll have weakness or numbness in their arm or their leg. And that just comes from natural body processes when the spine's narrowing or whatever, and that pinch nerve Some happens. of it is, is, the, is the result of aging, and a lot of it is due with activity. If you do lift something heavy, that can cause a herniated disc. Uh, sometimes you can have a trauma that can cause pinching of the nerve, like a fracture can cause a pinching of the nerve. So there's many different reasons why people will have pinched nerves. So I know there are going to be people out there who are watching right now who have exactly what you're talking about, the numbness or a pain, the excruciating pain that they're thinking is going to go away and is not because it's the pinched nerve happening. What do they do? Sometimes it will go away, but a lot of times it doesn't. And that's when we ask them to come in and see us. We can help them diagnose the problem and then talk about the treatment options. This is surgery, which is not the first option, but this just yes. lets you know that there are great options. What yes. exactly is this happening This is here? absolutely, this is not the first option. This is the last option, but you, you can see here, this is a procedure that looks like a laminectomy where we remove part of the bone. And then you go in, and in this case, we're removing part of the disc to take the pressure off that pinched nerve. So that would take care of it as a last option. What are some of the first options? I, I don't want to scare people and make think they're, you know, that surgery is the only option. That's right. What are some things they can do leading up to that? Yeah, so before surgery, we try medications. We have a number of different medications we can try. We'll try therapy. We'll talk to them about the lifestyle changes. Some people may have problems as a result of their being out of shape or, or having a little too much weight. Uh, then we can have also uh, injections. Injections are very helpful in controlling this problem giving people time to see if this is going to go away. Surgery is clearly the last option. And those other options leading up to it, the therapy and some of the other treatments, are those successful a lot of times? I'd say 80 to 90 percent of our patients will get better without surgery. So they don't have to worry about it. People coming to you aren't going to think That's that right. you're going to send them right off yeah. to surgery so, or something said, like that. We tell them we use knife very judiciously. Okay. Dr. Kachatorian is actually uh, an orthopedic surgeon with the Center for Orthopedic Rehab Excellence. Did yes, I get that right? right? Which is, right. Is, is core there. It's part of the physician group of Utah. If people want more information and want to get a hold of you, how do they do that? Well, they can go to our website, coremds.com, or they can just look us up and call us at... Uh, 801-568-3480. It's a great option. If you are experiencing some kind of pain, this might be the relief you're looking for. Of course, there's the website at the bottom of the screen, and we will link you there from our website if you'd like more information as well. We'll be right back with more on Studio 5 after this.